Rick Pasek, Flatfish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Today we will be tying a little uh, baitfish clouser style uh, uh, pattern with the new uh, Semperfly um, craft fur. Uh, just came out like three weeks ago, uh, uh, late late January 2024. Um, so I'll be using a couple of different colors, uh, and it's in a clouser esque style, but it's not a, a true clouser. It's more of a baitfish pattern. So let's get it going. So today in the vise we have a A-Rex SA220 streamer um, in a size four um, for the uh, um, for the uh, body on this the underbody if you want to call it that um, I'm just going to be using just white um, nano silk I mean it just gives that a little bit of a shimmer a little bit of a shine underneath it. Uh, just because you can tell that the nano soap's got a bit of that shimmer, right? So um, for the uh, um, the wings, I'm going to be using the new Semperfly Craft here. Uh, so I'm going to be using this kind of an aqua color. They call it Kingfisher and then a white, right? So it's basically, it's just a, it's going to be a craft for a closer. That's all it is, right? Um, for the eyes, I'm going to use a... Okay, that way I gotta get used to the new camera setup but because I'm traveling I'm using my my uh, Samsung phone instead of my big camera so um, uh, medium sized dumbbell eyes and then I'm going to be using some of the uh, Semperfly Gala in green blend just as just a couple of uh, strands just for um, um, just for some flash in it just a it just a touch um, so alrighty so let's get started. So I'm going to start my white nano silk here. If you've got um, the uh, a blue nano silk that they've just come out with, um, if you've got that, you can use that for the underbody. Um, I like uh, using the nano silk in this just because I like being able to just tug a bit tighter. Uh, otherwise, I'd be using the the uh, Classic wax, but with classic wax, uh, great product. But um, I don't have the uh, the right blue in a three aught. I've only got it in eight aught, and for the amount I want to be able to tug on this, I find that I always end up uh, breaking the eight aught. So, so I'm gonna go back about a quarter of the way, and I'm gonna put my eyes on. So, just get it started. Some that way, some that way. And then what I really like doing is going under, 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 over, 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 over. And then I go under, 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 under. And then I kind of figure eight it through there. And that is tight. Right? So now again, just going to. Give a little bit of an underbody. It, it really never gets seen. Um, just the odd time when the material moves a little bit in the in the uh, surf, you might see a little bit of that underbody. So the other stuff I like using for the underbody on these is the. Uh, let's see if I've got it right here. This one here, it's the uh, micro glint, the rainbow. I like putting that under the underbody as well, but. Like I said, it's just, it barely shows through. So <clears throat> sometimes I don't bother with wasting it, right? So so this is kind of a clouser and it's not. Clousers are tied a little bit different. So, okay. So now this is going to ride in the water this way, right? And then of course the, the focus is going to get messed up there, but that's the way it's going to ride in the water. Um, and so I want the underside white, upper side uh the green because that's the back of the of the of the uh, minnow right so so i'm going to start off with white got my scissors here and my got a little bit of my brush i like brushing it brushing this craft for straight before i cut it off just so i can, and it also helps get some of that little bit of the under fluff out now there, that's the one thing i have to say um, Semperfly just came out with this this um, craft for literally um, two weeks ago, um, and it's now uh, well, beginning of February, so it's the end of January when they came out with this craft for. 
very, 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 very little underfur in this stuff, which I love. Love the fact that it's got very little underfur. So I'm just getting grab a little bit here. Not that much there, so I'm going to take that and just cut that off. Throw that away. Wax my thread. So it is nano silk. It can be a little bit slick, right? So make sure you wax it. A couple of loose wraps. Bring that back so it's not in the eye. Flatten my thread a bit. And then what I'll do is I'll come in behind the eye with a couple of turns just to get that nicely cinched down to the hook and then back. That's it. Okay. So now I'm going to see if I can adjust my camera here because I'm going to turn. I'm gonna maybe have to loosen this off a little bit. Um, like I said, I am experimenting a bit here with how things are done. So... Like I said, it's just all on my uh, Samsung phone camera. So I am learning. So now I'm going to get, put the white on the side. I'm going to get this uh, Kingfisher green, Kingfisher blue, blue-green, whatever color you want to call it. Again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just brushing it out. Nice long fibers on this stuff too. It's got uh, um, some really long ones and then near the base it, it's a little shorter um so it depends what you're what you're wanting and this one i want you know just about that length so what two to three inches and again i'm just going to take my material and i'm just going to roughly get the same length i want it a touch 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 longer so there so Excuse the background noise. I am in Mexico here and uh, I've got the windows open because it's warm and you got some construction going on next door and there's dogs barking and roosters doing their thing. I don't know why they're doing it all day long, but they do. <laughs> so a couple of loose wraps again. Get that snug down. Make sure it stays right on the top. I'm going to build a bit of a head here. Keeping that stuff out of my way. Now what I will do is I'll stop there. And I'm going to take a few strands, just a few. I don't want a lot. Just three or four strands here of uh, this Gala and Green blend. If you guys haven't checked out the uh, Semperfly... Uh, blended flashes. I absolutely love it. Probably one of my favorite products from them. So this is again about the same length as the, the tail. And just a loose wrap. Make sure it stays on top because you want this right on top. Because a lot of times these bait fish will have uh, a darker back, right? So just cut that off. And now if I want to, to give it a uh, where's my whip finisher? There it is. I'm just going to whip finish this. I know it doesn't look perfect yet, and it's not, it won't until I'm done. Because now I'm going to add a different thread. Now I'm going to go with that, uh, that um, classic wax, wax. This is cornflower blue. And it's just going to finish off that head. Now you can do it in an, if you want a, um, an attractor, you can do like an orange head on this one or even a chartreuse head to kind of go with those green eyes. Um, but just uh, finish that head off and give it a whip finish right there. And then I'm going to finish this off with uh, some UV resin after I clean up the head here. I'm just going to hold everything back and just zap it with a lighter. Then, my wife actually came up with this a little while ago. I was having problems with just the UV resin. I didn't like how it was being stored. So, I picked up these uh, <coughs> contact lens ones. That make sure you get the ones that are dark. And I poured some of the UV resin 
oop, into it. Sorry, my thread's getting in the way. And then I've got a uh, paintbrush, just a little paintbrush. And that's how I'm applying my resin nowadays. It's uh, the thicker resins. The thinner ones I still use just right out of the bottle. But here I can just paint it and it can be a lot more, I can be a lot more accurate with it. Um, and then I'll show you what I store it in. So all of this stuff doesn't get hard on me, right? So uh, where's my light? There's a little bit of a fluff there, but that's okay. So then I've actually got a dark um, pencil case, if you want to call it that. It's uh, but, uh, one of my wife's uh, um, fountain pens that she, she likes using fountain pens. So it's one that uh, her fountain pen came in. So I'm just drying off the, the brush, put it back in, and it's in this container. And because light can't get to it, it, can't, it won't harden, right? So just a little little tip. So I'll take that back out of here and I will make sure that it is on each side of the hook properly. And then I will show you what this looks like when it's complete. So that is the complete little minnow pattern. Just let me get that out of the way. And like I said, you, you can see why I say that you don't really see the underbody. Um, every once in a while you might just get to see it um, as it flows through the water, right? But so there you go. That is the, uh, the little craft fur clouser. Um, and it's the new craft fur from Semperfly. Love this stuff. Really do. It just came out, but I really like it. it, it's, it I've been looking for a decent craft fur. Um, it's been uh, really hard to find a really good one. Um, so in this one, I find it, it I, I've played with it under the water and stuff too. It, it it flows really well, moves really well. So, alrighty. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, give her a thumbs up. Um, be patient with uh, with the, some of my filming. It's going to be a little bit different for the, until I, you know, figure out exactly how I want to do it. But so far, this I think this looks good. We'll uh, have to take a look when I start editing and taking a look at it. But uh, yeah, hopefully it uh, it's good. So, um, if you subscribe, thanks. If you have not, consider doing so. And uh, we'll see you guys on the. Next time video. Tell us.